Today we will create a dashboard, showing crimes in Los Angeles, from 2020 onward. First download the data from link given in description below, and import it using Get Data option. Select Transform instead of Load. You may need to change the data type of dates using Locale option. Change the data type from text to date and time. And Locale to English and United States. Check all the other columns, especially the numeric columns. Change the data type of any column, which may seem wrong. For now, all the data types seem correct. After you are done, click on the close and apply button to load the data into Power BI. Large data takes longer to load into the Power BI. After the data is loaded, you can see all the fields on the right side of the interface. Add a text box to the visualization, to create a title for the dashboard. Place the title, on the top of the dashboard. Turn on the visual borders for the title text box. Resize the title text box to make room for another visual that we will place later. Import the date of occurrence field from list of fields, and change the visual type to a line chart. Remove the day from the date field. Add any of the descriptive fields to the y-axis as count, to show the number of crimes committed. Add the victim age from list of fields to a blank place on dashboard. Change the chart type to a slicer. Place the slicer on top of the dashboard, next to the title text box. Turn on the visual borders for the slicer. Turn on the visual borders for the line chart as well. Insert a map chart into the dashboard. Place the map chart, below the line chart.
Add the latitude and longitude fields to latitude and longitude areas of map chart. Add one of the descriptive fields to the bubble size area as count, to show number of crimes committed. Turn on the heat map option. Data also contains zero latitude and longitude which are shown near Africa, to show only Los Angeles area, disable the auto zoom feature of the map chart. That's better. Change the heat map radius as well to your liking. Add the visual border for the map chart. Add a pie or donut chart to the dashboard. Add crime description field, to the details area of the chart. Add any of the descriptive fields to the values area as count, to show the number of crimes committed. Rename the fields appropriately, to show crimes by type of crime. Create a copy of the existing donut chart to create a new one. Turn on the visual borders for the donut charts. Replace the type of crime, with the area name field to show crimes by area. Create a copy of the donut chart to create a new one. Replace the type of crime field with the victim gender field, to show crimes by victim gender. Create a copy of the donut chart, to create a new chart, 
showing crimes by victim descent. Replace the gender field by the victim descent field, to show crimes by victim descent. Create another donut chart from existing charts by creating a copy. Add the status description field to the donut chart, to show crimes by status. Add another donut chart to the dashboard. Add the premises description to the donut chart, to show crimes by premises. Street crimes mostly involved vehicle theft. Create another donut chart. Add the weapon description to the donut chart, to show crimes by weapon. Our dashboard is now complete. Let's explore the data of crimes in Los Angeles using the Power BI dashboard. Please feel free to ask any question, or leave a feedback in the comment section below.